So over the years, I've done loads and loads of online courses on data science. And, you know, there's been an explosion of, of courses offered on various different platforms. And what I want to do on this video is if you're new to data science, and you want to find a way in and you want to find the best way of, of learning what you need to know in order to become a, a data scientist or a data analyst and move into that career path, um, is I want to give you my opinion of the various different courses that are out there. Uh, and you know, I hope that will be of some use to you. Now, I would say that um, there is a kind of hierarchy of platforms when it comes to courses that are offered on data science. Um, starting at the bottom, you have, say, Udemy. Now, Udemy has thousands of courses and there are many, many courses on data science, but you have to be quite careful with Udemy because a lot of the courses are quite low quality. But there are one or two gems in there. And if you're really new to this, you know, and you haven't decided whether you want to commit time and resources into becoming a data scientist or data analyst, um, and you know, you're just testing the water, there are one or two courses on Udemy that might be worthwhile. And the great thing about Udemy is that as long as you buy during a promotion, and there are tons of promotions all through the year, um, you know, you'll get a course for about $10 or the equivalent in your own currency, and it will give you a good introduction as to, you know, the sort of thing that you might be doing as a data scientist or a data analyst, um, or the, certainly the, the sort of skill set that you will need, the minimum skill set that you will need. And that's quite a cheap way of you deciding whether this is for you. So I would go to Udemy and check out the courses by Jose Portilla. Um, he's done quite a few courses on Python and Python for data science. Um, but really, you know, if you want to do data science, but perhaps, you know, if you want to do it seriously, then you should be looking at different platforms um, than Udemy. And so in this hierarchy of platforms, I would place Udemy at the bottom, but there is still some value to it. Moving up, and it's quite a jump up from Udemy, um, because I would say certainly the quality uh, is much greater in these next ones that I'm going to recommend. And the price is also higher too. It's a sort of mid-range price. So it's a few hundred dollars a year. And that's DataCamp and DataQuest. So what I like about DataCamp are the various different tracks that they offer. There's Data Scientist with R, Data Scientist with Python. You know, and it takes you through all the things that you need to know. And there are quizzes, there's video, and it, there are sort of interactive coding challenges. Um, um, where you go through and you accrue points by doing that. Now, I have paid for a data camp um, subscription and I have done several of their courses, you know, and I thought they were pretty good. Um, also, for the same sort of price is Data Quest. Now, I like Data Quest, and what I like about Data Quest is the way they teach. So they're much more focused on project style learning. Now, as anyone that has learnt data science and data analytics will tell you the best way of learning this stuff is to do projects. You know, you can go through books and go through online courses and the exercises and, uh, you know, just follow what you see in those exercises and on the videos. And you'll kind of understand those those bits that you go through, but you'll find it very difficult to apply what you've learned to other settings. If you learn by using projects and, you know, and, and actually having to, to go through a project from start to finish, that's where you really learn how to apply this stuff. You know, it's a bit like learning a musical instrument. I think I've said that in previous videos. You know, you could watch how to play the ukulele, you know, as much as you like for hours of, you know, hours and hours of, on end of video of how to play a ukulele. But if you've never touched a ukulele, then you're going to find it very hard to do that. Um, and it's the same with data science. You need to work on your own projects and DataQuest um, is very project focused. So I would definitely recommend DataQuest. You know, have a look at DataQuest and see what you think. And if you're, you know, if you've got a few hundred dollars to spend on an online course, you know, take a look at DataQuest. It looks really good. Um, so sort of moving up now, we have edX and Coursera. Now these are two really great platforms. And what I like about them is that they partner with, you know, very well known and well respected institutions like uh, Johns Hopkins University and uh, who else? University of Pennsylvania, MIT, Harvard, that kind of thing. So you're getting really high quality courses. My favorite Coursera courses are the Data Science Specialization by Johns Hopkins University. Now, this really does take you from, you know, beginner level to 
really quite a competent intermediate level. Um, you need a few programming skills. You know, if you know a bit of Python or some other programming language, um, you know, you should be fine. Uh, and, you know, it gives you a general overview of data science. It, it teaches you how to program in R. It teaches you how to clean data and how to acquire data. It teaches you about exploring your data so you know, you know, what models might be appropriate for your data. Um, and then there's a section on statistics and regression. Uh, and, you know, and then at the end, there's a project for you to work on. You know, and as I mentioned before, projects are incredibly important. So this is one that I would definitely recommend. The other one I like is um, the Applied Data Science with Python specialization. Now, this is not for beginners, so it might be a good one to do after you've done the previous course. Um, but this just you know, it takes it a little bit further um, and it teaches you how to do data science in Python. It teaches you data visualization. There's a bit more on machine learning. And then there are sort of some practical applications of text mining and social network analysis using Python. So those are two really good courses that I would definitely recommend. edX again falls into this category of more expensive courses, but really good quality. So they partner with, um, you know, as I mentioned before, uh, MIT and Harvard and their data science courses that I think are really good. Um, one of the, one of them is with the University of California, San Diego, and another one is with MIT. So the San Diego one, the University of California, San Diego one is the micro masters program in data science, um, which uses Python for data science. It'll teach you how to use Python. It'll teach you probability and statistics, which of course is essential if you want to do data science and machine learning too. And then it teaches you um, big data analytics using Spark. The other um, course that I really like is the Micro Masters program in statistics and data science from MIT. Um, this starts off by giving you an overview of probability uh, and then digs much deeper into statistics. And then it brings in the um, modeling using Python. So those are my suggestions if you're looking for a really good online data science course. I would also add to that uh, the website Brilliant. Um, it's a, a sort of much lower cost uh, platform. But if you go on there and have a look, you can see that they cover quite a lot of, um, of the knowledge that you would need to know in order to become good at data science. Um, and it's explained very well. Uh, it's a platform that I use regularly, and I think it's an absolutely excellent platform, and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I hope that's been of some use to you. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.